What's up everyone, Ghulam Ahmed, Gene Activated. Today we're gonna talk about a very hot topic that uh, again everybody's asking me about because people are confused, okay? The fitness industry right now, it's so massive, it's such a big trend that there's so much information out there that you know people like you and I, well not, not myself, but people like you and everybody else that's in the fitness industry that is not an expert, that is just trying to do you know lose weight or gain weight is everybody gets confused because some people say do this other people say do this some people say this works other people say this doesn't work this is just saying this that is just saying completely opposite of what that is just saying you know there's lots of quick fixes some people say take this detox go on this diet go on that diet you know there's so many different diets right now what is the best fat loss diet so that is the topic that I was going to cover today because I'm getting so many questions about it and I'm gonna, the answer is they all work, to be honest, right? So, you know, there's different diets. For example, right now, a big diet that's, you know, a big trend is the ketogenic diet, the keto diet. You know, everybody's on the keto wave, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video on that as well, and what I, my thoughts are on about the ketogenic diet. Then there's the, you know, the intermittent fasting, okay? There's the paleo, low carb, high carb, high protein, low protein, right? There's vegan diets. There's hundreds and hundreds of different types of diets, depending on, what it is that you're looking for but the main point is they all work simply because in order for them to work in order for any diet to work you have to be able to follow it consistently I don't care what diet you do as long as you just follow it for a good amount of time six months to a year you are going to see results because every diet is should be based on if you're getting the right one or from the right person from the right coach it should be based on a calorie deficit if the diet is on a calorie deficit, you are going to lose weight as long as you remain consistent with that diet, okay? So, I've explained in previous videos, you can check out my other fat loss videos uh, in terms of, you know, what is a calorie deficit and how to calculate one and what to do with it. But as long as, again, you're in a calorie deficit, you are going to lose weight. So, it doesn't matter what diet you're going to follow. Now, can you follow a diet that you picked forever? That is the main question because if you can remain consistent with the diet that you picked, you are not going to lose weight because you're going to stop doing it, right? So calorie deficits in a nutshell is whatever it is that you're eating right now, your maintenance calories, you are decreasing that by a certain number amount. Usually we go with 500 as an easy ballpark because that will allow you to lose one pound in a week because 3,500 calories is equal to one pound and in exactly seven days, 500 times seven is equal to 3,500, you will lose one pound. So that is a nutshell. So any diet that's making you do that, you are going to lose weight. Now, having said that, you also want to make sure that you're having adequate protein, okay, so that you don't lose your muscle mass at the same time. Now, see, everybody has a different lifestyle. Depending on what lifestyle fits, fits you, you should go with that type of diet. Now, the ketogenic diet right now is a big trend, and if that fits your lifestyle, great do the ketogenic diet but can you maintain a high fat low carb medium protein diet for the rest of your life if you can great power to you do the ketogenic diet now intermittent fasting is another one for example are you a really busy person are you a business owner are you a ceo are you so busy in your lifestyle that from the morning that at the time that you wake up to the time you come at night time you don't even remember where the time goes by and you didn't eat a single thing in the day if that's you uh, intermittent fasting diet will work really well because you have a four hour window in which you're gonna have to you know eat your food and then the rest of the time you don't have to worry about your food right you can continue doing your work so in that sense that works paleo same thing you know high carb depending on whatever your goal is the diet will work around it as long as you can maintain it now if I give you a diet and you know there's something in it that you can eat that you don't want to eat or your trainer gives you a diet like that and you can physically eat it, you have an allergic reaction to it, whatever. If you can't actually maintain and do that diet, then that diet is useless for you, right? So you have to be able to find a diet and build a diet, you better yet build a diet, which I'll teach you how to do, for yourself, something that you can maintain and continue to do for the rest of your life. Because at the end of the day, what is the point? Now, take the scenario. You're, I don't know, 200 pounds, okay? And you wanna be 150 pounds. Now, if for example, I make you lose the 50 pounds and now you're 150 pounds through X diet. You hated it, you dreaded it, 
you know, you were, you know, going crazy, you were getting into fights, you were cran you were cranky because of a low carb diet, whatever, it was too high of a fat diet and you were having hormone imbalances, whatever it is, you were dying at work, but you ended up doing it somehow, you know, um, killing yourself. Now you finally lost the weight and you look good. Now what? Right? How are you going to, what's next? How are you going to maintain that now? If you have not changed your lifestyle and the diet that you have picked and designed and have been main, and been using, if it has not fit into your lifestyle, you're going to quickly gain all those 50 pounds back because you're going to revert back to your old lifestyle and your old eating habits and your old diet, whatever that was that you made, right? So the, again, back to my point, you have to be able to do this diet for the rest of your life. If you can't, you might lose the weight to the diet, but then if you can't maintain that diet, it's all useless because then there's nothing worse than losing the weight, okay, doing all the hard work and then gaining it all back. Which, for most obese people, the rate is actually, the relapse rate is 95%. That's ridiculous. That's really, really high. So for most of you that are going to lose a lot of weight, the chances of you gaining it all back is 95%, okay? That's a simple chemistry of your fat cells because if you have change your chemistry of your fat cells because of being obese for, for various years. Now your fat cell chemistry has changed. It's going to want to go back to its previous chemistry, which is going to be when you were obese. So it's always going to want to revert you back up until you held it for long enough and tell it, no, I'm going to stay here. So that's the idea when it comes to um, which diet to follow, what is the best one for you. Now, my recommendation is that you want to design it kind of yourself right the way I like to do it is you have to find out what your maintenance calories are right how to do that there's a few ways but forget about that what you should do is I just want you to do this start taking note of what is it that you're eating okay and start to understand that this is gonna take time and that you have time everybody wants a quick fix you know everybody wants to lose weight fast okay TK you're gonna lose weight fast then what how are you gonna maintain it if you haven't learned the process to actually keep it off right there's no point in doing that so what you have to do is first understand that it's going to take time and it's going to be a lifestyle change. A lifestyle change does not happen over a few weeks or months. It takes a year or two years, three years, and then you're comfortable with it. So give yourself that kind of time. Don't start with really high expectations and set yourself up for failure. Instead, set yourself up on a platform where you are successful. Set yourself up for success. To do that, you have to start small. Okay. So the first thing I recommend is what I want people to do is for the first week, I just want them to observe. Just when you're starting your fat loss journey, just observe what, what is it that you're eating, right? In your week, in your day, just think about what choices you are making to eat and pick and choose where you're eating that muffin, that cookie, that chocolate bar, those chips, you know, uh, that ice cream, whatever it is that you know that you're eating that you should not really be eating and just take note of it. Okay, I should not have ate that, but that's okay. It's okay. The first week is fine. The first week you do that. The next week, what I want you to do is I want you to install an app called My Fitness Pal. It's a great app. It's free by Under Armour. They should sponsor me. I just gave you a huge shout out. But anyways, um, what that app is, it is, has a database of various foods, especially for South Asians. It has even roti and curry and stuff like that. So you can use that. But you can now start, whatever it is that you're eating every single day, start typing it in and logging it in that, in that app. And what it does is that it actually calculates for you the amount of calories each thing has that you're eating. And at the end of the day, you'll see how many calories you are taking in. Now, I want you to do that for a week, okay? I don't want you to think about being healthy or making the right choice. I just want you to be normal. Go about your regular routine as you would anyways, and just write it down. It's gonna take you maximum, maximum three minutes of your day, okay? You have that much time, or maximum five minutes of your day. So take that time and tally in everything that it is that you have eaten that day, and after a week, Take the average of all of the days and see how many calories you were eating. Whatever that was, that's how many calories you take on a regular basis. So if that's 2,500, all I want you to do is take, your goal is going to be just drop that by 500. So subtract 500 from 2,500, or if you're taking 3,500 calories, that's 3,000. And now I want you to start taking 3,000 calories every single day. Now. How are you gonna do that? Again, set yourself up for success, small steps, right? I don't want you to do that right away. I want you to do that over a span of five weeks. So I want you to drop your calories from 3,500 to 3,000 over a span of five weeks. The way I want you to do that is, remember that first week when you were taking note of all the things that you know 
that you should not have been eating. We all know the things that we're not supposed to be eating, okay? That pizza you had last night, you weren't supposed to have it. But anyways, at the end of the day, you know what it is that you're not supposed to be eating. Everybody knows. So all I want you to do in your first week when you start, I just want you to take one thing out and I want you to add one thing in. Understand? So you're going to take that one thing that you know you shouldn't be eating in that first week out of your diet. So if that's your regular chocolate chip cookie in the morning with your coffee, you're just going to stop having that chocolate chip cookie. Okay? And I want you to also add one thing in. So if that's, for example, something as small as you're not drinking enough water, you're now going to start drinking one extra glass of water in that whole week. And that's all I want you to do. I don't want you to change anything else. Because all I want you to do is get into a habit of making one healthier choice a week. You're making one healthier choice, taking, eliminating one thing out of your diet that you know you shouldn't be having, that's calorie dense and is not, it's processed and not good for you, and adding one thing that's good for you. Now, the second week, you're going to maintain that chocolate chip cookie, not, not having that chocolate chip cookie, and then the second week, you're going to take one more thing out. And you're going to add one more thing, and that's good. That could be eating an apple a day, or you know, eating one more vegetable, or one more fruit every single day. Now that's your second week. The third thing you're going to do, think, think, take one more thing out and add one more thing in, right? And the fourth week, same thing, and the fifth week, same thing. If you, by the time you've hit five weeks, you've taken five things out that you have not, that you don't, you know you're not supposed to be eating, now that's going to be roughly around 500 calories, probably even more because everything that you have taken out, it must be really, really calorie dense. It's not going to be anything less than 100 calories. So I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. So that's going to be at least minimum 500 maximum to a thousand calories that you now have just eliminated from your diet and you've added low calorie good things like fruits and vegetables into your diet which are going to give you the vitamins and the minerals and the antioxidants that you need to function optimally okay so see how easy that was now that's taken now so far you're at six weeks seems like a long time but you've made a good transition it's been easy and you've been setting yourself up for success it's not like a crash diet and you just can't do it you followed it for a week and then you've given up and gone back to your old lifestyle now that you've done that, now you're at 3,000 calories. But you've controlled it all yourself. You see how that was, you see what I did there? You made all the decisions and it's something that you can now maintain. Now what you're going to do is you're going to continue on that journey to get down to about 2,000 calories. And every week you're going to add something and take something out. So now you're going to have a way to play around with it and learn a little bit and, you know, do a little bit of research, what's good, what's not good. At the same time, now I want you to start worrying about your protein intake. I want you to make sure that you're actually taking in enough protein every single day. The main basis, the main ballpark for that is you're going to take your weight in pounds and that's how many grams of protein you want to take in every day. Okay. So now the two things that I want, to, I want you to hit is your calories should be the whatever your calories were, 500 less and keep going less and less if you feel like, to, like so. And your protein intake is on point. So now you're probably around two to three months in and now you've gotten a hang of it. And now it's something that you like doing and you've actually been able to maintain and you can continue to do that because you made all the decisions yourself for the rest of your life. And you can obviously keep experimenting, you can add things, you can take things out because you have an understanding of food and you have a good relationship with food. You know exactly what is in the food, how many calories are in it, what's the protein content, what's the carb content, what's the fat content. I'm going to explain carbs, fats and proteins in a different video as well so stay tuned for that. But that's the main idea. That is how I would go about going without about a diet before I get into, you know, doing any of these specific diets that everybody's on these days. Now, I hope that was helpful, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you're a follower, I just want to thank you. And I want, I would love your feedback and support. And let me know if this was helpful. And if you would like any future topic covered, please comment in the section below and I'll do my best to get back to you on that. Um, guys, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I post different types of information on that and different types of um, posts. So you'll find great value there as well. And I really hope to see you guys next time. Take care.